I'm Sherry Martin tonight on Heart of the Home. I found a great friend and I found a great recipe. My guest is Cecilia Mubrin from Royston, Georgia. You watch us on streaming video, don't you? Sure I do. She gave me a recipe and I'm gonna try this simple, simple dish. Here are the ingredients for our Mexi Melt meal. Diced tomatoes, a can of cream of chicken, a can of cream of mushroom, Campbell's soups, Tostitos cheese, and um, we used five baked chicken breast, boneless chicken breast, diced up. Simple, simple recipes, tortilla shells, lettuce and tomato. This is gonna be an easy one. Yeah, it sounds like something. Gonna be easy, one dish meal. That's true. Cecilia, this recipe is one that's perfect when you come back from vacation. Everybody has chicken breast in the freezer. We have baked our chicken breast, and we buy the boneless when they're on sale, and we are now going to combine them in a bowl, and you are going to add our soups and tomatoes, and this really is, when you come home from vacation, you've got lots of laundry to do, the kids won't help you unpack the car, and you're just tired, this is a great simple, simple recipe. We've got the soups and the tomatoes. And if you like jalapenos, I'm gonna put a few in here. If you don't, you know me, if it's, you can leave it out, it's optional. So this is one of those things, um, easy to add to or take away from. Oh yes, this mm, would be great. It smells good, doesn't it? Yes, with some chips and some refried beans or something. Mm -hmm. be that, you know, that'd be a good side dish. I didn't think about that. This came from a friend of mine over in Alabama. She sent me the recipe yesterday, and I thought, why not try something different? This isn't in the Habitat cookbook. Maybe it'll be in the next version of the cookbook. Now, we've already sprayed our pan with Pam, and we're gonna put the tortilla shells down, and then we are just going to layer our ingredients. This really is quick and easy. And you know it would be good with some refried beans. Oh, I know. That, that's good. And you know a recipe is just a good place to start if you want to add to um, things that you really, really like. Mm, you can Even add some, black olives. Oh, yes, yes. Or some Spanish rice. We won't tell anybody the truth, but I came home at lunch and baked these chicken breasts. Because, you know, sometimes you have to improvise. And I just ran home at lunch, stuck them in the oven slow. And uh, easy, easy, easy. You probably could use like the chicken breast, the chicken tenders. Already cooked, oh yeah. Now remember, this recipe mm -hmm. will make two of these. We're gonna make one tonight for our time purposes. And it is smelling good. Now we're gonna turn this into the oven for about 20 minutes at 350. Wow, that looks good. Wow, Cecilia, what do you think? This smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. Hot and steamy in 20 minutes now. Oh, wow. Oh. What do you think of that? Oh, I can't wait. There you go, hang on to Thank that. Thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. Just enough to give it a kick. Oh, there you yes. go. Okay, sample. Tell me you love it. Thank you. Simple oh, recipe. My Thanks, guys, for tuning in. So, see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank it's been you. so much fun, guys. I've enjoyed see it. See you again next week. Bye bye. bye, -bye.